<laughs> Should do that bit again. And take 10. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I have been absent for quite some time. What have I been doing for the last three months? The bedroom's basically finished. The cottage has got a staircase. The kitchen is being finished this week. But first, <sighs> breathe Michael, you can do this. Should we just start that all again? As you want, Michael. <laughs> you are you are good. I've forgotten how to vlog. See you later. Start again. It's a comeback. The, the comeback. How many comebacks have we done? We've had the, the a fresh start, a new era, Sweet. and then no video for three Sweet. months. This week we're going to be doing the cottage kitchen. We're going to be finishing the kitchen. The reason we haven't finished it is because I didn't want to do all of the lovely, you know, trims and get everything done, the floor done, all the panelling sanded, to just work upstairs and drop dust over it all. I've waited until the bedroom's almost done, then I can now finish the kitchen. I've been waiting for the for my old carpenter to, to make all of the architrave and the trim. Uh, he hasn't got back to me, so we, this week we're gonna, we're gonna be doing it ourselves. I'm not a carpenter, but we can learn. So first of all, I'd like to show you, if anyone's interested, since I last saw you, mm -hmm. I bought out a new print. So I did a limited run of 250 signed and numbered, and we've got 90. 90 left out of 250. Mm, 91. 91 left out of 250. So the next 50 people that buy this print, I'm going to give you a handwritten doing it ourselves card. This is yeah. the original framed uh, in oak, same oak as the cottage. Uh, so that is available on the website doingourselves.com. Uh, if anyone wants to buy that, because any money that's made from those is going to be going towards new windows for the cottage, because the old ones unfortunately are rotten uh, beyond repair these are new these are doing it ourselves um, real postage stamps um, I had them custom made uh, they cost a little bit more to produce than buying normal stamps but how cool are they wow. so my brother Billy uh, and Gwendolyn um, they bought a convent <laughs> if you follow my brother you would have seen that so that's his new project so actually in the meantime the chateau is basic Billy's given me free reign on the chateau so if I can finish the cottage um, quick enough. I've got free reign to do what I want in here. He said, do what you like. Choose the colours, choose the wallpapers, fabrics, whatever you want, and you can use it for your channel. So, I've been let loose in a chateau. That's going to be quite cool. So here are all the prints. Florian, you wrap all of these by hand individually, don't you? Yes. So that's a chateau print. This one's signed and numbered 159. So that means, yes, we've got 91 left of the numbered ones. Yeah, Drawings. there's a couple of other ones, like, you can't really see it on there, there's like a ladybird, that was a request. I've just had loads of flies in the cottage, I've been trying to keep them at bay, so in honour of that, I did a fly print. You can't really see it, it's basically an antique coffee pot and two cups. Coffee for two, really, really there we nice. go. But they're wrapped up, so they're ready to be sent out, and then we'll go and talk about what's going to be happening in the cottage this week. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go, right, well, five, see ya. Bah alors Tiens, mon petit téléphone. What Your phone. Oh. Your mo mobile. Ah oui, I'm a good uh, cameraman. Daddy Is that There he is. Off to work. Right, so what needs to be done in the cottage this week? We'll talk about that in a minute, but first, I'd like to introduce you to the new staircase. Here we go, we've got a staircase, finally, look at this. Made from solid oak, locally sourced oak, and it took me about a year to find a carpenter that would make it, because the angle is um, beyond um, modern building regulations, which is about 42 degrees maximum. This is 50, or just under 50, so it had to be specially built to fit. It looks pretty narrow at the bottom, but as you go up, the second run, I'm not sure, um, is, is wider. So this part's where you've got plenty of room. But this part had to be made narrower because we lost that much when we put the panelling in. So, so we lost a bit of width here, but it's, it's a good shoulders width or more to get through. So it's, it's, it's done, it just needs varnishing. Well, Florian, 
I, basically, you can model the staircase for, for us. For really? Everyone. Yeah, model it. Ah, Victoria's Secret. Yeah, Victoria's Secret staircase model. It's very solid, though. Well, I should hope so. The it will, price. Uh, it will stay uh, at least 100 years. Basically, the staircase came to about 5,000 euros with uh, installation. You recorded the installation or not? I've got some footage of it being installed. I can I can show a few shots of that. We can have a little look back to to how how it was installed. Yeah, I love it because it's a stupid question. I was there. Today's the day. Today's the day we finally get the staircase. That's it. That's all of it. No. Um, we just come to pick it up from the carpenter. The best quality French oak. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, we're so we got to get it all home. Oh, that oak is so nice. Finally got a staircase. There's so many times where I've nearly fallen off that ladder. It's exactly like the old one was. Nicer than the old one, actually. That's so nice. Let's see the steps are exactly the same size as the original staircase. Okay. So I want to scratch it, you see. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Don't your left. Oh, you go to the left. Oh, you see. It has to go on the wood. Yes, she's on the wood. Oh, Frame landing. for the quarter landing. I remember he asked me this part, he said, Do you want this made of oak or so because you won't see it? And I said, No, I want it oak. Yeah. Even if you don't see it. No. Yeah. Let's have a drink, a coffee or something. Yeah. Start, fishing. Start fitting it, yeah. It's my nice this. And a little uh, Oreole here. Mm. <laughs> La piscine! <laughs> So the staircase um, is ready to be lifted up. The new post has been put on here. Uh, we've got four of us to help lift it. Now, once it goes up, we're going to then have to take this, this new post and then that's going to have to be slotted on here and clamped. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of maneuvering to do, but we're just everyone try not to knock any corners on walls or the floor because it could damage them. Should we go? Yeah. Yeah, right, yes. okay. So I think I'm gonna get the bottom because I've got to attach the, the new post when it's, when it's up. So what we need to do is now, if, I already yeah, we're gonna lift it, be careful that post there, you see. Yeah, we're gonna lift it now, bring the back round, back this way, that's it. Back, 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 keep going round. Right. Now, what we're going to do is, be careful. This is, wait, wait, wait. Just hold it, okay? Have you got the weight? Yep. Just need to take this away. Yeah. This away. Right, now, we need to lay it onto its back. But be careful, be careful of the, the post there. Right. 
Right, that's it. Now, so then we can, you guys, I can bring it round. Yeah. That's easy, you're going to be a little small. You must be careful with the post on the There's not a lot of space. Levy. That's it. I'm going to bring it down. Put it down. Right, but not onto the floor. Right, so mm. you lift. Put it on, on the floor. No, I can't, because I don't want really to break this corner off. Okay, so that we lift. Wait, yep. wait, 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 Watch the puck. You bring it, you can, you bring it forward. That's it. Forward a bit. Turn the ball. Okay, bar. perfect. That's it. Now up. Right, walk it over. Oh. Up. 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 Right. Is it on? Okay, wait, wait, wait. You can Let me just get a bit. Put some. Uh, yeah. so, uh, Oh, so the gap here between, you know where you cut out that nil post to fit over the joist? Yeah. It's at the minute. Yeah, I know, I know. At, at, at the minute, it's actually 20, 25 mil out. Right. But it's just touching the joist at the, at the at where the wall is. So that's how, how much it's got to come back. <laughs> Basically, this joist is not square to the wall. It's not at a 90 degree angle like it should be. So we've got to cut part of it off. But it's very strong oak, so it'll still support the floor above without any problem. So putting some, there's no other way we can do this. And, and, uh, we haven't got no power tools that we might need. What, actually, what, what about a jigsaw? I might go through it now. No. <laughs> Just uh, brute force and a blunt saw. <laughs> the hand saw's blunt, it's just taking too long to get through, so we're using, gonna use a chainsaw and uh, see how that goes. We've had some progress. The main bit's in. It's now sitting on the joist in the correct place. We're going to have to cut some of that out and that 
was quite a lot of work, but now it sits in there perfectly. The, um, the new posts and everything, they're all glued and doweled together. So they are gonna move now. Wait till there's a few more boards in there and we better give it a test to so walk up it. Oh, Maker. Yeah? It's the last one. Did you have the last one? Yeah. Thank you very much. Almost finished. Try not to drop glue everywhere. <laughs> Accidents do happen. Just use a sponge, and after when you will sound, it will be okay. Right, so we've managed to get all of them in. Florian's just getting me a clean sponge, because obviously if any glue is stuck to these, Tell me. You can get it off afterwards if you pick it off, but anywhere that the glue has sort of gone into the surface, when I put the, the varnish, like the oil, you'll have light patches, obviously, because the, the uh, oil can't penetrate the wood, so you'll see the glue bits. But one last thing, this was mum's idea yesterday, because this little piece of the bottom of the stairs, I was gonna have it closed off with some oak boards. But mum said that's a good place for Titi to have her bed. So we put Titi's bed under there, and she's already at home, look at that. Is that nice, Titi? Titi. <laughs> Okay, so what needs to be done in here to finish this kitchen? Not a lot really, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, and it's, I've just been waiting for the carpenter to, the old carpenter, amazing carpenter that did all of the paneling in the kitchen. Um, he's been too busy to, to do the last little bits. We can just have a go at doing it ourselves. Yeah, there we go, <laughs> doing it ourselves. We can, we can do it ourselves, seriously. Yes. That's the whole point of the show, right? Instead of like getting everyone to do everything for us, we can just have a go. Um, basically, what needs to be done is, the panelling is all installed, great. This part here um, was never varnished. But that was great in the end, because actually last year, this um, we had some water coming through the wall. All this panelling got like damp, and it swelled up and expanded, and sort of pushed itself out it wasn't fixed in very well so it was all taken off from mm. here back it was all taken off and put back on with a much much stronger fixings um which meant we had screw holes in the in the wood paneling but what i did is i went online uh, i got these these are oak plugs and they're cut across the grain so you can line them up with the grain um, and here, if you look, this one has been sanded flush. Uh, obviously it's a different color because it hasn't been stained, but once this is all varnished and stained, it'll all look the same color. So that's, this part's done, stairs is done, just needs varnishing. What needs to be done is this half of the room. Basically, I've got no architrave, which is the wood that would go around a door or a window to frame it. I couldn't really, you can't really buy vintage style oak off the shelf stuff here. You gotta get it made. But we're gonna make it ourselves. We can do it ourselves. I had an experiment. This is a piece of oak. I managed to buy these. I've got loads of this. This is what I bought for the bedroom skirting boards. But I thought I can just buy more for the skirting boards because that doesn't need to be done yet. So what we'll do is, we'll use all the wood I got for the skirting boards and we'll make architrave and we'll make skirting boards out of it for the kitchen. Um, so I was having a bit of an experiment with a router. I've never used a router before. It seems pretty easy. And this one's quite nice. It's got a little bit of a curve and then like a nice sharp okay. edge. 
So I think we might go with that. We'll test a few other ones out. Okay. See what they look like. But I think this might be nice. So basically the first thing that needs to be done is we need to clear everything out of this room. I need to clean all of the beams and the joists because they're a bit dusty now. And then places they need sanding, which was, wasn't done two years ago. And then a bit of stain on the joists, I think, and the main beam. Uh, and then we need to sand the paneling. Um, and then we need to put the architrave and the trim on and everything. Uh, and then once that's done, we need to varnish it all, varnish the staircase, scrub the floor, wax the floor. How much can we do that in five days? I don't know. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll give it a go. <laughs> So yeah, so basically, this week we're going to be learning how to do carpentry. This is going to be fun. Anyway, enough talking. Should we get on some work? Let's go. Let's go.